Bros here. Uh, today we're going to go over the PlayStation Showcase. I've heard so many things about it. I've seen some trailers here and there, so I'm not probably going to be surprised. But um, this is like the whole thing altogether. So I haven't, that I haven't seen. Again, excuse the hair. Can't help it. It's curly. All right. Um, give me one second. Let me minimize this. All righty. You guys can see more of the screen. And let's go. I might skip around because there's some games I'm not really interested in. Um, what else? Uh, all right, I think this is. So, firstly, just to say, um, so I've uh, I've been playing a lot more games actually. Haven't been streaming them. Should be streaming them, but I haven't. Uh, but uh, yeah, I w I've been playing um, uh, Genshin Impact on my PlayStation, which is actually really fun. And uh, it is free to play, but I haven't really gotten into the free to play elements of it. Like I, I haven't really paid for anything so far, and it's it's pretty good. I think I spent like at least forty hours already in the game, and haven't had to spend any money to actually enjoy it. Um, what else? I played the new Ratchet and Clank for the PlayStation Five. It was awesome. Uh, there was most uh, there were the most anticipated games for me for this year was. The Ratchet and Clank game, which I got to play, and it's a it's it's great, and um, the Twelve Minutes, which actually came out on Xbox uh, Game Pass, basically just you could just play it right off right away if you have Game Pass, and that's awesome. Today, it's all about Sony, it's all about PlayStation. I've heard a lot of good things, I've seen a lot of good things, so uh, yeah, it's really gonna make me um, happy that I have a PlayStation Five right now because. There's a reason that I have it now, you know. Now, I mean, there there has been. There's been some games. I'm not saying uh, my other most anticipated game of this year was Horizon Zero Dawn, the no, West, the new one, but uh, that apparently got pushed till next year, and there was a little bit of controversy about that. Then they backtracked about it, so now they're a VK. It's now a, a, apparently it's now going to be a. a, a like a, a, a free upgrade. Like if you basically if you buy the PlayStation 4 version, you could upgrade for free the PlayStation 5 version. Anyway, um, so far, this is just the PlayStation, like that was just a PlayStation trailer. That wasn't really for a game. That's Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, Ratchet and Clank. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Ghost of Sush. Oh, yeah, I haven't played, um, what is it, Returnal, I think is the name of that game. I haven't played that game. Uh, it's like a um, roguelike, uh, kind of like a game that kind of repeats over and over again. And you like learn something every time or whatever. I'm not really into games like that. Um, but, uh, but except for like 12 minutes, 12 minutes to me was like very, very good. It was like six hours. I think I beat it in one night. It was a good like kind of, because it was also like a guessing game sort of. I mean, all roguelikes are guessing, I guess. But it, it was good. It was good. Um, what's this? Ooh, hold on. I'm going to play some sound. Sorry. Sorry. They promised Star power. Wars? New Star Wars game? Now they wield it. Definitely in Star Wars. We face the greatest sin in generations. They must be stopped. Oh. Okay. I didn't even know about this one. Alright, so, um... Whoa, let me learn this. So, Knights of the Old Republic... Yeah, definitely a remake. Uh, it was, it's an old, old Star Wars game, but it was one of the better Star Wars games I remember playing. I remember it, uh, Knights of the Old Republic and the original Battlefront were like the only Star Wars games I would play. I would play them for hours. So I'm glad they're like, you know, um, remaking it because it looks really good though. Um, I mean, the cinematic, they didn't show any gameplay, which I don't like, but I guess they're not ready yet. But it's going to look amazing because it's a remake. What is this? This looks like Bayonetta. Definitely a Bayonetta-like game. Her suit looks awesome. Okay. Okay. There. Yeah. Oh, ow. Ouch. Oh, ouch. Okay. I mean, he kind of just smashed his own fist, <laughs> but whatever. Oh, okay, that. Are you in space? How are you breathing? Ah, whatever. I'm not. Maybe she's not human. Who knows? I don't know what this game is. I thought it was Bayonetta. Maybe it's like a 
like Sony's response to Bayonetta. I think Bayonetta's. I don't think it's PlayStation. That's a lot of eyes, man. Um, I think Bayonetta is. Uh, what is Bayonetta? God damn it! I think it's Nintendo. I think it's Nintendo. It's a Final Fantasy? It didn't look like a turn base. I mean, Final Fantasy is really getting away from turn base, so. But I, that's the only one I can think of that's, that's like a. I mean, it didn't say Square Enix either, so I don't think it is Final Fantasy. Okay. Very religious. What is this game? The graphics look amazing. I don't know if it's translating through, but it looks so good on my screen. <laughs> oh, okay, gross. So the worms take over people? They're like zombies? Okay, oh, okay. Uh, I like this. I like this. Gameplay. Mixed with the stuff. Okay, that's traversal. It looks fine. It looks really good. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks, that looks, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, I, I, I don't know what game this is, I gotta write this down, this is, I'm gonna definitely play this game. What is this? Alright, if it's not Final Fantasy, I'm sorry to Final Fantasy. But it's definitely like a, oh wow. You know, it kind of reminds me of like a Final Fantasy mixed with, um, what is that game that, that has a giant that has giant things you have to beat all the time? Very, very famous game. Ah, damn. It's like really hard and that's the whole point of it. From from software makes it, but I forget the name of it. People are gonna get mad at me, but I can't remember the name of the game. But it looks like that mixed with Final Fantasy basically. Yeah. Or I guess Resident Evil a little bit. Even though, and her suit is very Samus, like, all of this is a lot of, is a mixture of a lot of things. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, if you could play that sequence, if it's not a cinematic, like, if you could actually play that sequence, that, that'd be fire. I want to play that. I like the fighting. I like that the, there's a mixture of gameplay and cinematic, um, cutscenes. Because the gameplay looks really good. Oh, okay, you go. Oh, okay. Definitely, definitely dead. All right. Yeah, he dead. He, he, he dead. He dead, dead. Project Eve. Okay. Okay. Project Eve has my attention. What is this? Alpha Nate. Oh, she just turned to a skeleton. Oh snap. Okay, that's fire. That was fire. That. I'm definitely interested in that game. 2K presents a Gearbox software. Oh, okay, this is um, Borderlands. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but I've seen this. I've seen a trailer for this one. Border, it's like a Borderlands spinoff, like an RPG, Dungeons and Dragons type of thing. I'm gonna skip it. I'm not really into Borderlands like that. For you guys that are into Borderlands, you guys can go check it out. But it's definitely a Borderlands. Um, what do you call it? It's a Borderlands. Uh, sorry. It's a Borderlands. Thing. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. That's what it's called. It's like a spinoff of Borderlands. But it's it's not really like Borderlands. I think there's like co-op and, you know, multiplayer, stuff like that. I mean, Borderlands is co-op. You know what I mean. Like, it's not just a shooting game. <laughs> not that Borderlands is just a shooting game, but you know what I mean. Okay, Square Enix. So this is definitely... I doubt it's a Final Fantasy. There's been too many. Right? Oh, this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen stills of this game. Not really a video. Yo, it looks so real. It looks like Spider-Man a little bit. Just that scene looked like Spider-Man a little bit. I forgot the name of this game, but I, I have seen, it's like she fights dragons or something. It was a, like a year ago they showed some kind of footage for it, but it was, I thought it was cinematic, but they're like, it's gameplay. I'm like, that's impossible. 
but it looks really good so maybe it was actually a, a, like a gameplay looks really really good sure. where are you right here at the end of your arm mm -hmm, yes. okay so let me get this straight I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. Yeah. I'm seeing freaking dragons. Oh yeah, see dragons. Oh, yeah. I'm to what is the name of this game? Oh, that looks really good. Yo, these graphics look really good. That looks real. Nah, this this is. Oh, that's too far. Good to know there's a line. I mean the her talking with the and the, um like it's not really synced up perfectly. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I know. This this game looks good though. Like the atmosphere, like I don't know how to explain it. Like the the backgrounds, like the actual characters look a little bit, you know, definitely CG, like not perfect. But the background, like the environments, look real as hell. The effects, all that stuff. Forspoken, that's what it's called. Yo, it, it looks real good. It looks real good. Square Enix, yo, they're pinnacle of always with the graphics. No name for a demon. I am the one you seek. The one and only Tanta Silent. Tanta Silent. Oh, 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 it's not going to be easy to kick her ass. Okay. That's fire. I'm with it. For decades, what is this? Team Rainbow has oh, Rainbow Six. Okay, Rainbow Six is fire, but I don't know. I, I don't really like shooting games like that, to be honest with you, except for like Halo. But I, I feel like all the shooting games are kind of getting similar. There's zombies now in Rainbow Six, which is crazy, but whatever. Everybody done zombies, so now they have to do zombies. Whatever you do, I don't this go is. out in the dark. Stay in the light. Looks like Alan Wake. Right Falls. This is Alan Wake. The original groundbreaking classic. This is Alan Wake. That's fire. Oh, they're remaking Alan Wake. Okay. I hope they include all the like expansions and stuff. My wife Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Last night I woke up to a nightmare. Alan Wake is a fire game. If you guys haven't played Alan Wake, Alan Wake is fire. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it. With it, I could save myself. Like, it was the first Alice. game that actually scared me, let's say, put it that way. And I played Dead Space. Nah, Dead Space is terrifying. But this game, this game got some likes. Because I wasn't expecting this to be a horror game, to be honest with you. I don't know why. I feel like now. My name is Alan Wake. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I feel like now these these game like is kind of dated because other games have done what Alan Wake has has done here. But original Alan Wake, like when it first came out, was like really ahead of its time. Kind of Enemy Within style. Oh, uh, Grand Theft Auto. Okay, Grand Theft Auto coming to the PlayStation Five. Better graphics, blah blah blah. I assume that's basically what they're gonna say. Oh, and next year, even not even this year. No. Grand Theft Auto is great. I love Grand Theft Auto, but it's not a new Grand Theft Auto, so I don't really care. What is this? Thing? Oh, okay, this is that Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul is an anime. Tokyo something game or something like that. I know it's in Tokyo. No, am I bugging? Yeah, it's like a... It's like a first person... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing something like this. It reminds me of, uh... What is that first person game that's with the hands and the stuff? Kind of horror. That's cool. The visuals are real good. Oh, that's awesome. My bad, I keep saying that these games remind me of other games, but they do, you know? They're definitely inspired by it. Damn. 
The time is now. It's Tokyo something. The world rests Ghost? On the Tokyo Ghost? Of transformation. These visuals are fire. This might be my new Alan Wake. That's fire. Oh, Ghostwire Tokyo. I'm like, Tokyo Ghost? <laughs> it's fire, though. It looks really good. Nah, but it reminds me of this game. Uh, damn, they're underwater. Why can't I remember the names of games right now? Uh, they're underwater, and, and there's like a big tank. There's Tank Daddy. I forgot the name of the goddamn game, but you know what game I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got. Eidos Montreal. Oh, so it's not in Zombie X, so it's Gardens of the Galaxy. Okay. I'm also excited for Gardens of the Galaxy. I did see it. I think I saw it on the Xbox showcase or, or Bethesda or somebody, somebody showcases. It looks good. I'll play it. It looks okay. All suffering, all grief will end. What's wrong with you? Oh, I think... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm having a heart attack. Cease this at once. Uh, fine. <laughs> Osmo! How you doing, buddy? Grand Unifying Leader of the Church of Truths. I don't know if they're supposed to look like the comic book versions of their characters. Because they don't look like the, the movie versions. Like a little bit, but not really. So let us investigate for you. Always a gitch. Not a fun kind with Paul. Hey, world mine. Long time no see. The current probability of defeating the Universal Church of Truth is 0.3%. Is that bad? It yeah, sounds bad. pretty bad. <laughs> I hope you got one hell of a space plan, Peter. That makes two of us. It looks good, though. Oh, that's cool. I, I didn't know that there were elements of... Uh, where you're in the spaceship and you get to fight in the spaceship. That's cool. Kingdom Hearts ish. Hopefully better. But yeah, no, I like it. All of the, all the action looks good. I've seen some gameplay footage. The gameplay footage looks good. I'm definitely playing this. It looks good. That was completely intentional. The Milano's on her way. Thanks, bud. Okay, it's a shooting game. Ooh, this is very Blade. Ooh, that was very Matrix. Now that, that reminds me of like the Matrix Reloaded, like the old uh, PlayStation 2, Nosferatu, the old PlayStation 2 Matrix. Okay. So your vampires, Bruja, Vandal, and Brute. Okay. 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 You heard vampires hunting vampires? Oh, okay. Those guys look like the bad guys, I guess. Oh, this year. Oh, that's not bad. Looks okay. Again, I'm not really into shooting games, but at least it has a unique twist to it. Welcome to the Eon program. Oh, this is, uh, this is, uh, so this is, uh, Deathloop. Again, like a roguelike game. It's from the creators of, um... Ah, uh, damn, yo, games, names are escaping me right now. The, uh, that first person game where you, you're like a stealth person in like this old town or old, old timey time. 
All right, hold on. I'm a thing. I'm a thing. I'm a thing. Okay, so. What is the name of this game? This is Deathloop. The name I'm talking about, the game that I'm talking about, it's from the same creators, I believe. And it's the same style of game, but it's like it was back in the day kind of thing. Uh, it's like Deviant or... It's not Thief. Deviant Variant. Nah, these Marvel fucking things. What's the name of the game? I gotta look it up. It's killing me right now. Uh, oh, Dishonored. Boom. As soon as I was going to look it up. So it's Dishonored. This looks like Dishonored. I like Dishonored. Uh, again, I, it's not even... First person in games is not really a problem for me. Uh, no, sorry. The existence is not really a problem for me. It's a problem for me to play. Like I get very... I get like a headache whenever I play a first person game uh, too long. And it, it becomes jarring after a little bit. So I don't really play them that much, but uh, it does look good. Um, I've seen enough trailers for Deathloop. I definitely want to check it out, at least to see, you know, if I if I would play it or not. But um, but yeah, I'm I'm excited for it. I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is, but it's Radiohead, definitely. I'll check it out. But it's an exhibition, is it not a game? What is this? This looks cute. Okay, it's a music game. Oh, it looks beautiful. What is this, a building sim? Like you build cities, you get to swim. Okay, you're hunting. What is this? Oh, she has abilities. She became the bird. Oh, that's fire, she became the bird. Okay, and then you get to explore the land like that. So it's like a collectathon type of game or? Oh, that's cool, that's cute. I guess. I don't even know. I don't, I don't. That's awesome though. You get to be a turtle. That's cool. Very Breath of the Wild. Even down to the not speaking English. I do like that she's brown. I don't know what language they're speaking. Though. I don't know Okay. I'm with it. I don't know what it is. A game inspired by New Caledonia. I don't, I don't know what that is. It looks pretty though. And if it's an action adventure game, I'll definitely play it. I, I thought it was like more of a survival or game or explore game. I'm not really into those, but if it's an action adventure game with an actual story, I'll play it. Alrighty. What else we got for me? What else you got for me? What else you got for me? Okay. Oh, okay. They're remaking, uh, they're remaking the Uncharted. This one I know. Uncharted is great. Uh, I'm excited for the movie. I don't, I don't know how... I can't really see Tom Holland in the role, but... We're gonna see. He's gonna surprise me, I guess. I'm Herman Hulse, head of What's up, guy? Sorry, I skipped all the talking bits. I'm, I'm only here for the gameplay or the trailer. Okay, Insomniac. Now you're speaking my language. All right, this is, I think, one of the reveals that I that I got that I got um that I got spoiled for me, but I didn't see the trailer. I 
this definitely him. Look at his knuckles. Ooh, we're gonna get to see some fights. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's it? Oh, that's kind of why. In development. Okay, so they don't even have a release date, so I thought it was maybe next year, but I guess they just started working on it. That's awesome, though. If Spider-Man shows up in... What is this? Castlevania? Sounds Castlevania-ish. Porsche? No, it's definitely not Castlevania. <laughs> Cars? Uh... Okay, hold on. Let me... Cars. Forza is Xbox. Um, Need for Speed? If it's not Need for Speed, it's that, that one that PlayStation has. Oh, why are their names escaping me? PlayStation has this uh, running, you know... Um, driving game that's since the first playstation been around i forgot the goddamn name of it gran turismo gran turismo boom boom i remembered gran turismo gt yes so gran turismo um i guess this is the new one it looks really good anyway what i was saying about wolverine um it'd be cool if they allow the uh the insomniac crew to blend universes like for spider-man to show up in wolverine's universe or for wolverine to show up in Spider-Man's universe, or I don't want to say universe because they're in the same universe, but you know what I mean, like same story, because um, that'd be awesome. And then the X-Men, you know, to be slowly introduced into the games of, you know, Spider-Man, that would be, or Spider-Man introduced into the games of X-Men, whatever, that'd be awesome, because uh, they're all Marvel, Marvel owns the rights now, and I don't know what they're doing with their movies, I don't think they're going to include the X-Men anytime soon in the movies, so they could do it via video games, see how people receive it. And then do it in the movies. You never know. Oh, sorry. All right, let me take this back off. I'm not really into racing games like that. Um, they're cool. I just, I'm not really into them like that. Let's see if I can. Uh, I can't skip on this mode. All right, I'm going to put myself up here now. Because uh, I need to be able to control this stuff. <laughs> All right, uh, skipping a little bit, but again, if you guys want to see this, it's Gran Turismo. You could find the trailer by itself. Oh, hold on, hold on. All right, what's this now? Now this looks like my game. Green Witch is good. As I can remember, I have looked for an equal. Yeah, definitely my game. One. Yeah, Spider-Man. Oh, he's got the he's got the tentacles, the the the. Yeah, that's why. Oh, maybe Iron Man is in this. Or you know, in, in the games they are very thing. They are very. Uh, ooh, they are. Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! You get to play as both of them. Hopefully we get the Venom suit. All right, that's awesome. When though? When? 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 Can we get a date? Can we get a date though? Twenty twenty three. Not even next year. All right. Hopefully Wolverine also comes out around that time, or or maybe that's why they took so long with it. I don't know. I feel like they should. It should be next year. I mean, coronavirus might have pushed it. I think that's it. I don't remember anything else being spoiled or. Oh, wait, no, no, yeah, one more thing. One more thing. Yep, God of War. Little Kratos. Atreus. Boy. Boy knows how to hunt now. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. 
My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am. Who Loki I think they changed the voice actor for the kid, or, or maybe the kid got older. Oh, snap. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother wants. Do not move back, Mother Watson. Oh, yeah. I recognize that Jarl expression anywhere. That's fire. Odin's got tricks up his sleeve. We have an idea. That looks so good. What if there was someone who could help us? You mean to hear the old god of war in these lands who is dead? Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. If he's out there. We gotta find him. Come in. What? In all yards be the half been doing. We're trying to stop Ragnarok to help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Okay. Okay, you bad guys. War is not the only way. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you a calm and reasonable person? Oh, snap. Or... Fire. Oh, goddamn. Oh, goddamn. Oh, damn. We're fighting Minotaurs, Centaurs, whatever the hell they call them. Okay. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, okay. The kids got the kids got some power now. Okay. Are you coming with us? Okay, big guy. Is this okay? Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. When? Give it to me next year. Give it to me next year. I know it's not this year. Oh, it doesn't even have a release date. Great. Okay, so that was the PlayStation Showcase, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, but uh, basically, hopefully. Uh, we get, I'll get to play most of those games. Uh, I'll be streaming a lot more, hopefully often now. Um, but yeah, uh, that was awesome. I'm glad I own a PlayStation and I can play all those games I just saw. Um, see, see you next time.